It's been an interesting 13-year journey for Capgemini in India. Predominantly organic growth, some acquisitions in the middle, but now as the new decade unfolds, it's going to be a whole new ball game. And who better to talk about it than Paul Hermelin, Group CEO, Capgemini. Mr. Hermelin, thank you very much for talking to NDTV. As I said, it's a new beginning for, as many people are saying, a new decade for sure. Uh, is it business as usual for you in India or the plans have been somewhat tempered considering we're seeing uh, or we'd rather saw a crisis which was unprecedented? Uh, this crisis has been in some respect a little milder than the previous one. Mm -hmm. Why so? What I hear now is there has been a financial crisis but there was no feeling that IT was part of the problem. On the contrary, I see customers, CEOs, that say we should invest more. We can't afford committing on new large investment, but there is more appetite for IT spend. So that's, that's better. Yeah. But in, in the last 18 months, um, times have been more difficult. The Capgemini has performed rather well. Uh, um, we are a Western-based company, so our revenue shrunk a little bit. But we have grown in India by more than 15%. And I would say few of our Indian friends can claim that they grew their headcount by 15%. What was new, notably, in the perception in a large company is for the first time we shrunk our onshore headcount by 6%. I had declared in 2006 when we had 7,000 people in India, we will have nearly 40,000 people in India by the end of the decade, in 2010. With the crisis, we'll be a little, be late, a, a little be, be beneath that, but I think we will catch up rapidly. But we could combine that with a slow growth of our onshore headcount. Mm -hmm. So people saw that as strengthening the group. The crisis has created some tension within the group because people see that today, we will grow, and this year we will grow again 15 to 20 percent our Indian headcount. But we are not sure we can grow headcount onshore mm. in our historical markets. Mm. People in the Capgemini group now know that innovation starts pretty often here. Okay, but but the even today, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. 80 percent in terms of your revenues come from Europe. Do you see that shifting uh, over the next few years? And what's going to be India's contribution to that? So, two remarks. The first, as a group today, we are 75% Europe, 20% US, and the rest of the world would be 5%. In terms of That's, revenue? In terms of revenue. Right. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. Just, I should not be too pessimistic about Europe, but I don't regard Europe as a, a high growth economy uh, uh, as a whole. Uh, uh, France is not doing bad and... More France, Greece in the, in the office? And, and French demography is the best one in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so this is a country that demographically grows, that, which is pretty unique in Europe too. Yeah. But I would say we must increase our exposure to fast growing economy and you will see us grow our presence in the Indian domestic market but in the Chinese market, in Latin American and Brazil market, and we might do acquisition to have a more powerful beachhead to start our organic expansion. That's one thing. Now, back to your question, which is, which share of the revenue will be produced by Indian colleagues, which is no longer the question of end customer, but production. My view is there are mature markets where progressively, we will move closer to 50-50 or even 70-30, 70, 70 Indians for 30 Westerners. Mm. There are still some markets that will remain predominantly Western-based, like some domains of sovereignty, defense contracts, mm. most probably consulting, and, and a little segment of fast delivery of small projects where proxi proximity is the key driver. Tubar .com.